In the weeks leading up to the NBA draft, we'll have player breakdowns for you. And our first one could be a guy that's a lottery pick in Mikael Bridges. And I think he will be, John. We've been looking at mock drafts and we'll continue to as we lead up to the NBA draft. And Mikael Bridges pretty much universally going late lottery about 8, 9, 10. And when you're drafting a guy in the top 10 and you're an NBA GM, you want a guy who's going to give you longevity. He's going to give you defense immediately, and he can provide offense. Doesn't need to be a game changer offensively. Hope you you have some guys on your team already that provide some offense. So as we look at Bridges' stats, he gives you that. He's going to make an immediate impact. Great knockdown three-point shooter. He really added that to his game this year. And defensively, he always had that NBA look to him. He's always able to guard just about any position. We've seen him take on post players and defend that position. But for me, the biggest game changer that's made him a lottery pick is what you just said. The perimeter game. Mm -hmm. He can not only catch and shoot. He did some of that throughout his first couple of years. He can create off the dribble. So it makes you think. Who, who would does. you compare him to, so, partner? Here, here are the criteria. Longevity in the league. Yes. Knockdown three-point shooter. And defensively, again, the versatility. I like that word. Versatile defender. He can get you at a lot of different positions. Drum roll. Trevor Ariza. It is not the sexiest name, I'll be the first to admit it, but a guy who's been in the league for 14 years, has won an NBA championship, may well win another with the Houston Rockets as a big-time contributor. He brings it every night defensively, like we said with Mikhail Bridges, and offensively, he has done enough to stay in the league for 14 years. I, that says enough. Let's roll the tape. I think the definition of stability, you just said it. So this is him under the rim. Mm. And he's a rim protector at his position. He can make a play. He can block his shot. And that's a play that we saw many times from Mikhail Bridges this season. Boom! Almost identical under the rim. And that's against Ishmael Sanogo, who's got a little bit of length on him, but then Kadeem Carrington. And what I look at here is guys that are so comfortable. Marcus Foster is so comfortable making that runner mm -hmm. in the lane. But that's NBA-type length that shines out of Bridges, which makes him that lottery-type pick. And that's really it. That's the word that we're going to key in on with Mikhail Bridges, the length. He has the NBA length. The question mark coming into this season was, offensively, can he make that leap to the NBA? And I guess what I'll argue and why I like Ariza is, Trevor Ariza is not a guy that's scoring 40 points a game in this league. Consistent, can make an open jumper, and you know what? He can create for himself. Let's roll the tape here. It starts on defense. Ariza gets the steal. Boom. Open three. I'm going to take it. I'm going to make it. And we see that from Mikhail Bridges plenty of times this season. Grip and rip type shooter. That's getting through a screen and getting past Kyrie Thomas, one of the best defenders in the conference. And then the hesitation. We talk about high IQ. That's the type of players Villanova produces. Those ball fakes, those pivots, all those little things. NBA scouts, it has them drooling. So there's good reason that Mikhail Bridges will most likely be a lottery and top 10 pick. Now, you'll be curious. Trevor Ariza was a second round pick. So don't at me, you know. Hey, Trevor Ariza, second round pick. Bridges is going in the top 10. I am saying 14 year career for Trevor Ariza. If an NBA GM was drafting right now, Ariza would go in the top 10. If you know, he's going to have a 14 year career. I don't know why I just did fingers. You're, I'll was take that it. silly? You're a silly guy. But I, I think Bridges goes in the top 10. I think he has a very long 14, 15 year career in the NBA. And he's not a flashy no, I, guy. I see what you're saying. I think that this is a guy that has the potential, though to be a star in the NBA, and Trevor Ariza doesn't stand out as that, but the things Trevor does, those are the types of qualities that Mikhail has. I don't think we've seen the best of Mikhail Bridges yet, and that is really, really scary to think about. Well, look at a guy coming into the NBA that we had not seen the best of out of San Diego State, Kawhi Leonard. A guy that had the intangible, similar to Bridges, with his length, with his ability to score and obviously defend, which is why he got drafted in the first round late, though. And I'll tell you what, he's a guy who played his best basketball in the NBA. If that's Bridges, we could see the ceiling get higher into the all-star category. Five invitees in total to next week's NBA Draft Combine from the Big East as 
We want to thank Laval Jordan. This was a great breakdown from Jay on Ariza and Bridges. And partner, we just forge ahead here deeper into May. And wow, hard to believe that the NBA draft just over a month away. Yep, you're locking into some softball coverage. I'll be watching the mock drafts throughout the week, and hopefully we do a couple of more of these NBA comparison breakdowns and have a lot of fun going into draft time. That does it for us. Uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, my. A little throwback to some Big East softball. A major throwback, and they're expecting rough weather here this weekend. <laughs> Will we get you Rosemont. back out? Uh, we'll see. It reminds me, I gotta pack my pullover. <laughs> this is back in, I think it's 2014. Holy cow, was I drenched. That was my bath for the day. Same glasses? Same glasses. Oh no, these are different. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, very different. There you go. A little softball. Stay dry this weekend. <laughs> Maybe get out and shoot around yourself. Sure. He's Jay Alter. I'm John Fanta. Enjoy the weekend, folks. <laughs>